I want us to welcome to Caribbean Style TV right here on Cablevision and Time Warner Channel 118 and Channel 18 um, uh, on Cablevision Channel 96 on the Time Warner Network, www.figtreebiz.com. This is a segment we call The Cooker. That's right, uh, where we combine meals, international cuisines, along with, with um, uh, West Indian, good old West Indian cuisine. Mix it up a bit. You know what I'm saying? Food has a particular thing about it that you could always combine taste from one end of the earth to the next end of the earth, you know what I'm saying? Food combined, you can always get a special particular taste. And today, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna make a snapper, snapper burrito. When I say a snapper burrito, that's right, snapper wrapped into a, um, a, a, a shell, you know, a burrito shell and with vegetables and the, and the whole nine. But the difference with the snapper is, it's not your regular snapper. It is your regular snapper, I should say, but without the bone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't put that the whole snapper with the head and the bone inside a burrito and bite. You know, not, not good for the throat, you know? So what I have here is a snapper fillet. Boneless snapper fillet. You can get this in a store. Or if you know how to um, fillet a snapper, a fillet of fish, you could actually do this yourself. And that's something I'm going to show you guys, how to arm um, uh, Fillet um, uh, fish at home, easy take, all the bones out so you can enjoy a meal without worrying about the bone and spit out bone and all that. So that we're going to make a snapper burrito. So we have our ingredients here, main ingredient, snapper, boneless, okay? My kids hate the bone, um, uh, Angela don't really like the bone, so you know, and it's still snapper, you know, enough love. So here we go, have some ingredients here and what we consist of here, right, we have some, um, uh, some pear or avocado. That's what they call that, okay? Good old scotch bonnet pepper. You know, Master Pan don't leave him scotch bonnet pepper. You know what I'm saying? So, enough love to um, uh, Hillary who gave me a call. Um, uh, she's from Trinidad and she's saying that um, uh, um, uh, scotch bonnet pepper is not the hottest pepper. It's a, it's a pepper in Trinidad they call seven pods. You know, Hillary, I want you to um, send me some of that pepper if it's hotter than scotch bonnet, okay? So we got our pear, we got some eggs here. So we're gonna egg batter it with some breadcrumbs and we have all those ingredients. So we're gonna beat the eggs, the egg batter. We got our uh, thyme, okay? We got some butter, okay? We got some um, uh, leaf spinach. And this I'm gonna cook up a bit, but not cook a lot. So you get the nice crunchy flavor and get some greens um, in there. We got our garlic powder, we got some garlic salt, okay? And of course, we're gonna make a fresh salad you have your tomatoes and lots of veg in this meal. It's a, it's a, it's a good thing, you know, to try to eat um, uh, healthy. So what I have over here, okay, and this you could actually get inside the store, okay? It's a soft taco shell. Now for those of you who like roti, then get the roti skin, all right? And I'll show you guys, um, uh, somebody showed me how to make roti skin, and I'm going to do that also. But we're going to go with the soft um, uh, flour tortilla or a soft taco, and that's gonna be wrapped up around our snapper fillet. Okay, all our veg are chopped here. We got, we got our uh, red peppers, we got tomatoes, you got um, uh, fresh basil, garlic, onion, fresh garlic, scallions, everything right here. I even have some, a um, uh, little bit of pimento, pimento seeds here. All right, I'm gonna crush that and put in the crust off the, the, the snapper. So that should be really, really good, okay? Got two eggs beaten and, and ready to go. So we're gonna dip the, the snapper inside the eggs, okay? We got our um, uh, breadcrumbs here. And then also we have some uh, flour, okay? And that's our basic ingredient, that's it. So I'm gonna go over to the skillet and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start showing you how to batter your fish, deep fry it, get that nice crust around it, okay? And then after that, I'm gonna saute the veg and the onions and the peppers and everything mixed up together, right? And wrapped it around, um, uh, wrap it inside a soft taco shell, and that should be So really what I'm gonna do, I'm okay, gonna so batter go. the snapper in some eggs, breadcrumbs, and flour. Also, you could probably combine both um, uh, both these ingredients. So you could actually do something like this. Okay? Lease some back. 
you know, you kind of just um, uh, mix this around so you get the crunch in there and it's flavored. You could actually use crackers like um, townhouse crackers or anything like that in the, in the batter. So when you bite it, you get a nice, um, uh, nice flavor. You got to be creative when it comes to cooking. Cooking is a very interesting thing. I love, love cooking. I um, mean, it relaxes me and um, uh, it's my love, you know. Masa pan the cooker, for real, see? So here we go. Let's um, uh, start out with this piece of snapper. Get that in there. Oh, eggs. Okay, get it all nice and soaked. Okay. Nice and soak, all inside, outside. Okay. Then let's go to some breadcrumbs. Get our breadcrumbs nice around it. All sides. All the sides. Okay. And right into the flour. Okay. And that's it. You want to get the flour all over. Remember, you got some also some seasoning inside the flour also. And then this goes right into the skillet. Right into the skillet. It's laid down. Just like that. Want to move this a little bit so it doesn't stick. Get it over on one side. Okay. All right, and the same goes for, for the for the rest of them. Get, get another one. Eggs. Okay, like when you go to say Wendy's or something like that. You see, they have that fish um, uh, fish fillet. Um, it's similar, but this is just a little, just a little better. Okay, <laughs> better than the Wendy's fish fillet. Cause it's a snapper, you know. Fine dining. <laughs> okay, so here we go. All the breadcrumbs. Okay, and flour. Keep doing that. Breadcrumbs, flour, right into the skillet. So let's get this one right inside. We want to make sure all the wet parts are got some flour on it. Now this goes right into the skillet. Move it around. That's it, and that's the basic motion. Batter, breadcrumbs, flour, and right into... What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go into sorting our vegetables, okay? And uh, you definitely you wanna get the vegetables stuff, um, all prepared and almost ready to saute. But what I'm gonna do, let's take a look at our snapper filet, boneless snapper. And we're gonna take a quick look at this. So this is frying up really, really good. This has got a nice brown color, kinda crispy. Hear that? Got a nice crunch there. You need that. You know, so it's a little trick. Egg batter, breadcrumbs, and flour. And that's the trick to getting it nice and um, uh, crunchy. Put any seasoning you done. want inside. As a matter of fact, this is done. So let's get this while we're at it and put it right on our plate. Snapper filet. Okay, let's get another piece here. And this goes right into our burrito shell. The vegetables, excellent meal. Lots of vegetables. Yeah, let's get this one here, a little small one. Okay, so we're gonna let this drain on the paper, get that oil out. You want to get it all the oil out. So, so we're now let we're ready for our out. vegetables to be sorted for our um, uh, snapper burrito. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna grab, let's grab some peppers, nice red peppers. Throw right in there without the oil at first. No oil at first. So get some peppers in there, some red peppers. Just grab it right in there. You know, make sure your hands are clean. You gotta have clean hands, okay? Always wash your hand with swine flu and all of that. You know, you, you, don't, you don't want that, okay? Grab some carrots here, okay? Sprinkle a little carrots in there. Some onions. Whole array of vegetables. Let's get some fresh fresh parsley. Let's get that in there also. Okay. Lots of greens, lots of vegetables, all mixed up. Got some scallions. Let's get that in there also. All mixed up scallions. Okay.
Now let's get some tomatoes. Right in there. Nice sauté tomatoes, onions, lots of vegetables. Now, a little scotch bonnet, um, uh, scotch bonnet pepper. Still waiting on that Trinidadian um, pepper that's supposed to be hotter. Um, the seven pod pepper from Trinidad. Anyone have an idea what that is and they could get your hands on it? Please, 631-672-1598. Give me a call, send that, that, that pepper that's hotter than the scotch bonnet. So I'm not going to dice this, okay, because I don't want to kill my family here. <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm just going to saute it a bit with this. I'm probably going to take it back out, you know, when I get the right, right spice that I want. You don't have to use pepper, okay, remember that. But um, uh, we are pepper people here. Also, I'm going to add to this um, uh, some fresh, fresh thyme, good old Jamaican thyme, you know. Give it a nice, um, uh, nice kick. Uh, I, lo I like cooking fish, but... Um, uh, Fish without, without time to me is, uh, is kind of useless, okay? So get some time in there. I like to peel it off the stick. You know, you don't want to eat, you know, eating your, 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 your meal and you're chewing on a branch, you know? That's um, uh, <laughs> not good. So we peel it off, okay? Get some time in there. Get, that's a time, okay? Stir it up a bit, okay? Then I'm going to add my spinach right in there. First spinach. Look at that. It's like feeding a rabbit. Lots of vegetables. Get more vegetables in, you know? Clean the system out a bit, you know? It's green and gold, red, green and gold. All the colors are, are here. And for vegetarians who don't eat meat at all, this is your filling for your burrito. That's right, for all the vegetarians, don't eat meat at all. This is your filling for the burrito, okay? So for all the vegetarians, big up yourself, enough love, enough fun, so enough respect. So what we're gonna do, okay? I have some um, virgin olive oil. That's virgin olive oil. Really, um, uh, really important. I'm gonna add this to all this vegetable mix, the, the, the spinach, the carrots, the green peppers, red peppers, scotch bonnet, parsley, um, uh, onions, garlic, right in there. So I'm going to put a little oil all over that, okay? And stir it up a bit, okay? So we're going to stir it and we're going to cook it until this, the green, start welting a bit, until the peppers, see, start welting a bit and the onions start welting a bit. So you still want it crunchy but not soft. Okay, now let me add some, um, some garlic to this. A little bit of garlic powder. I got fresh garlics, but I like garlic powder. Add that right to it, okay? And also, I'm gonna add one spoon, one spoon of brown sugar, okay? That's it, one spoon of brown sugar. And we're gonna stir. See, everything is being uh, blended together. See, the leaves start welting, almost ready. Our vegetables almost are almost ready. Pretty much done, but we have our burrito here. So, I mean, you don't have to um, pretty much cook this, but I like this. Pop it in the pa frying pan for just for a few minutes. Get that up there, just for a few minutes. You know, maybe about about three minutes tops. Get it warm on each side, you know, and you don't have to kill it. So get that warm a bit, just to get some heat on it, it bubbles, bubbles up a bit, and then that's ready. So we're gonna do that with all four of our, so we of got our that bubbling um, up a bit. And I'm, uh, that's ready. See, nice and brown, warm. And that's, Absolutely. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna plate these up, get our, our snapper fillet inside with our vegetables, and I'm uh, wrap it and good to go. Snapper burrito, Caribbean style TV. Masa. Now we're ready to Let's plate up our snapper fillet, our vegetable mix, green peppers, red peppers, onions, um, garlic, scallions, thyme, spinach, 
everything with a little brown sugar, some virgin olive oil, pepper, and um, uh, we're gonna combine that with our snapper filet inside our so burrito. Let's grab a piece of fish. Shell. Snapper filet, get it right in the middle. Okay, then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our nice saute veg. Everything is in there and just put it right over. Look at that. Wow. See that the juice, everything is right in there. The spinach, garlic, everything, scotch bonnet pepper. Right in there. Okay. Then we're just gonna wrap this. Okay. Simple wrap. Once, two, you could tuck the edges in if you want to, okay, tuck both edges in, and that's pretty much good to go, okay. So I'm just going to do the rest of these, put them on a plate, and that's it. And that's the whole Let's entire. Let's another thing. piece of okay. uh, snapper fillet here. Get that right in the middle. Okay. And also what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one with avocado. Pear is what we call it. Okay. Because not everybody likes pear. So I'm going to do some with avocado and some without avocado. Let's get some right in there. Angela loves avocado. So let's get that in there. Get our vegetable mix right on top of that. Look at that. Everything combined. Okay. Let's wrap that. One over. So that's our meal for today. Masa pan, I am the cooker. So that's our meal for today. It's a snapper burrito. Snapper burrito. It's um, a snapper filet. No bones whatsoever. Okay, vegetables. Red peppers, onions, green peppers, scallions, carrots. Everything mixed up. Okay. And also some scotch bonnet pepper sauteed in some virgin olive oil wrapped in a burrito shell. A taco shell. And the fish is right inside that, nice and crunchy with breadcrumbs, egg batter, and, um, and flour. So that's our meal. I just want to say blessed love to each and every single person which we need every single week. And remember, you can give us a call, 631-672-1598. Tell your friends, tell your family. Every Sunday, 2 p.m. to 3, it's the rice and peas hour right here. And also the cooking hour. Enough love, enough honor, and enough respect. Salute.